Yo, what up? My name is Mike Falzone, and I'm the host of a little show called Tweet Tap. How do you know what Tweet Tap is? Why does that sound familiar? You're watching it right now. I also have a co-host. Her name is Coffee Girl. Waywire. Stay wired. And together, we follow everyone so you don't have to. We try. Now today we have a super special tweet tab brought to you by our friends at Get Ready Room. Get Ready Room provides special kits that help us get ready for man-made and natural disasters. It's kind of like in high school when I used to carry around those disposable tissues just in case anyone broke up with me. It's kind of like the same thing. Get Ready Room, call me up and we can work on the high school edition of your care packages. It would be tissues and extra pens and pencils, I think. It'd be a snack for around three when you start to crash. Disasters can range from hurricanes to volcanic eruptions to chemical spills. Quees. He's coming to say hi. Quees. Whatever the case may be, Get Ready Room has what you need to prepare. Kicking it off with some facts, which is the most helpful way to start a conversation. From DC-based weather experts this tweet. Nearly 80% of the U.S. population lives in counties that experienced at least one weather disaster since 2007. Wow. 80%. That's almost 85%, which is almost 90. From Wired Magazine, we can now introduce you to the Pentagon's new Disaster Rescue Bot. The Pentagon's humanoid Disaster Rescue Bot is dressed to impress. Let's take a look. Is it wow. Bender? Is this Bender? I wish it was Bender. More frightening. If you were caught in a disaster and you saw this thing coming to rescue you... I think I'd be scared. Yeah. Okay, so let's read on. The Pet Man, created by Boston Dynamics, wears a flame retardant camouflage jumpsuit, and its metallic face is obscured by a gas mask. Woof. Comforting. From the official Twitter account of the United Nations Development Program, this. In 2011, disasters cost the world economy more than $380 billion. Dollars. U.S. Wampum. The report is kind of fascinating to read. Did you know, here's a stat that I have memorized, 95% of disaster fatalities occur in developing countries. I did not know that. Did you know that? No. Just caught in the crossfire, Mother Nature's crossfire. Right into the danger zone. Eddie Money, is that Eddie Money? Kenny Loggins, both of them very fond of the danger zone. Danger zone, danger zone, take it high. Um. <laughs> if you want to read the article, of course you do, with your eyes and you understand it with your mind, we'll have a link in the info section. Finally, since TweetTap has an almost unhealthy obsession with GIFs, <laughs> here's a tweet from Complex Magazine. 15 Terrifying Natural Disaster GIFs. Here's one. Oh. Ugh. Why wouldn't you be running? This has to be from a movie or something. It's 15 terrifying. Right, but it can still be a I don't think a it's fake from a movie. One. Well, who's gonna put a camera right there and watch this girl get wiped out by a giant wave and then I can only imagine the wave would also consume the camera and then how would you get the footage back? In order to get prepared, check out Get Ready Room. We'll have all the info in the info box. Please enjoy reading. Alright everybody, thank you for joining us for Tweet Tap. My name is Mike Falzone, I'm the host, this is the co-host, her name is Coffee Girl. Waywire, stay wired. Mm -hmm. I put out new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Won't mm -hmm. you watch? Mm -hmm. Go Pet Man, go Pet Man. Pet Man sounds like the most adorable superhero. He's always just covered in kittens and ferrets. <laughs> Ew, ferrets. And poodles. Oh, poodles. Ugh. Did you see that article? World's ugliest Where that guy dog. in like Norway or something injected a bunch of ferrets with steroids and sold them as poodles. That's disgusting. No, I did not hear about that. Or something similar. I can't keep up with those crazy Norwegian. <laughs>